Hi everyone, let's talk about the summation function for Euler's totient function. So we're going to be computing the summation function for Euler's totient. Um, before that I want to remind you of what the totient function does. So phi of n is Euler's totient function and what it tells us is the number of elements of 1, 2, all the way through to n that are co-prime to n. So we want to find all the integers, positive integers less than or equal to n that are relatively prime to n. And what we what we want to show is that the summation function, so we call it s of phi but we don't need that terminology here summing over d dividing n, so the positive divisors of n, phi of d, we want to show that that equals to n. And the way that we're going to do it is a bit unnatural. We're going to use a double counting argument. What double counting does is that it takes a certain set and it finds its cardinality in two different ways and we're going to be, the set that we're going to be looking at is actually a tuple. The tuple is t equals to 1 over n, 2 over n, all the way through to n minus 1 over n, n over n. And clearly this has n elements. So that, that, that counts for the right side. But we want to show that it also has this number of elements, this sum. And the way we're going to do that is by reducing the fraction. So we get a i over, sorry, a1 over b1, a2 over b2, all the way through to a n minus 1 over b n minus 1, a n b n. So these are, these are all corresponding functions. So a, a1 over b1 is the reduced version of 1 over n, which is just 1 over n. But the rest aren't so clear because we don't know what n is. These two correspond to each other. So these two are equal. These two are equal. These two correspond to each other. And these two correspond to each other. And I should note that the bi are all positive. So we're not looking at negative denominators here, we're looking at positive denominators. Okay. Uh, oh, and also, uh, just to be clear, by reduced I mean that GCD of AI and BI is equal to 1, so it's, it's the lowest form. In a different video I show that the lowest form exists and in a sense generates all other representations. Okay, so uh, because of the generative ability of the reduced form, we know that bi divides n. So bi, bi divides n, that means that we should focus on denominators. All the denominators are d that divide n. So let's, let's fix d. Fix d such that d divides n and d is positive. If sum bi equals to d, then remember the ai, the ai is greater than or equal to 1 but less than or equal to bi which is equal to d. But GCD of AI and AI and BI, which is equal to GCD of AI and D, is equal to 1 because it's a reduced form. So there are at most, if, if we consider all the possible AI, there are at most phi of D, by definition of phi, phi of D bi such that bi equals to d. Um, what I'm going to show next is that there's also at least that many. 
And the reason is that if since since we fix D, let's say let's say A J satisfies A J is between one and D and G C D of A J and D is equal to one, then A J over D is equal to A J times n over d over n. So this is this is of the form of the original set and n over d is an integer since d divides n. Remember d divides n. So this is an element this is an element of this tuple over here um, and the last thing we need to show is that they're all distinct and they, they are distinct because if let's say a s over d is equal to a t over d. Well, that's true if and only if a s is equal to a t. So th there is an injective idea here. So this shows that this at most is also an at least. So that tells us that if we look at these denominators, b1, b2, bn minus 1, bn, all the way through to bn, phi of d of them will have, will, will correspond, will have the, will be equal to d. And there, we can iterate over all the possible d to get that the sum, the, the number of elements of the tuple is equal to phi of d where d divides n. But we know that the number of elements in the tuple is also equal to n. So that allows us to compute the summation function of phi using double counting. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.